Yeah, uh, Kai, uh, x-rays were negative, but uh, we'll have to see how it goes uh, tomorrow and further tests and, and treatment. Um, yeah, obviously, obviously we, we lost a great player uh, during the game, which was tough. Um, you know, we, we didn't play particularly well. I thought we had a pretty good start. Uh, level dropped a little bit. They got going on some um, transition breakdowns. They got started getting three balls going and, and some offensive rebounds, some 50-50s, and got a little separation before the half. Uh, and then we, we, we struggled in the second half. So, you know, we missed him, obviously, but uh, it, it was a big adjustment tonight to play without him and James. But, you know, that we've had that type of year. So we got to find a way to, to figure it out, to, to look at the tape and get better. Garrett Greenberg, Turner. Coach, as you just alluded to, you suffered numerous injuries throughout the course of the year. But at some point, does the team just get deflated and, and say enough is enough? And, and did you feel like tonight the team was lethargic and lacking energy due to taking another gut punch with the injury? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that maybe that was in play a little bit. Um... You know, we, we just we didn't execute very well, and I think that was the gut punch. You know, we, we had a hard time, um, you know, executing offensively. We had some defensive breakdowns, like I mentioned, that uh, uncharacteristically for this series, we gave them opportunities in transition or um, not matching up and giving up three-pointers. So uh, maybe that was some of it, uh, more so than the injuries. Just we were, we were struggling a little bit and couldn't kind of get our mojo going. So... Um, but yeah, it's never going to be easy. It's the playoffs. You know, we're going to face adversity. We got to allow the adversity to make us stronger instead of uh, hanging our heads. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, coach. You know, obviously Curry was on the floor for quite some time. You need help get, getting out. So, just in terms of the severity of the injury, it, would it be fair to say that it's a, it looks like he might not play in the next game, and if he doesn't play? Does that then increase Kevin's workload, which is obviously a tricky thing given his injury history this year alone? Uh, I have no idea, you know, what, what's going to happen with Kai in the coming days. Um, you know, we'll, we'll cross our fingers and hope that uh, it's, it's better than, than um, you know, I don't know, better than what? Better than uh, missing the next game? Uh, you know, it is tricky with Kev. We, we all got to pitch in. We all got to play together. We got to move the ball. And, and I thought tonight we got a little single-minded looking for Kevin every time. Puts a little bit too much pressure on him. It makes us a little more predictable, I thought, um, you know, which which puts a lot of burden on him. So we got plenty of guys who have stepped up in absences this year and done very well. And I think we're going to rely on each other to play a team game, move the ball. And, of course, we're looking for Kevin as much as we can, but uh, within reason, you know, within reason, within, within without confining ourselves and being predictable. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, Steve. I'm just curious whether, uh, A, what does this do for Mike James's role? What are you going to need from him going forward? And secondly, if Kyrie is to miss extended time, uh, does that impact in James' work? Negotiating to play, leading to play, whatever. Well, I think, you know, first with Mike, you know, he's going to play. He's played for us uh, since James went down. He's going to play again. Uh, but everyone's got to play, you know. You know, all the complimentary guys got to play and be aggressive and confident. And so um, we're going to need everyone to give it a great effort, uh, you know, especially if, if Kai can't play. And then James, you know, I think it's an independent case. You know, like I don't want to – I don't want James to be – rushed back if he's able to play next game or the game after that's fantastic if he's not i don't want to rush him back um and jeopardize you know um doing something worse or making this a long-term injury um so we'll see we'll have to take all these things into account and evaluate them and try to make a smart decision joe harden the athletic Hey, Steve, um, you went pretty far away from Blake looked like tonight. Is, is he okay, or is that, was that a strategic decision? No, Blake was good. Uh, he's fine. We, we, you know, he's played a lot of minutes. We've asked a lot of him, and, and coupling that with the fact that we wanted to play a little faster. Uh, you know, we were down in the game, so try to speed it up a little bit, uh, go small a little bit more. Um, that's all. But Blake's been tremendous for us in this series, and uh, we're going to need him. But he's just played a ton, and we got in a hole there, and we tried to play it, speed it up a little bit. Greg Logan, News Day. What's your feeling about the defensive job that 
Tucker is going on the rant, and does it seem like he's taking it personal after what happened last week? I mean, I don't see anything that's changed after the last game. He's he's played he he played that way before they they had their altercation. Um, you know, he's playing extremely physical um, and, and made it difficult. Um, you know, that's that's his role on their team. I mean, uh, you know, I thought it was borderline uh, non basketball physical at times, but that's the playoffs. You know, you have to adapt and adjust. Uh, but something definitely, uh, in a sense, changed from. The, the way the game was played in, in, in Brooklyn and, and here in Milwaukee. But we got to adapt, we got to adjust, we got to try to make it easy. And like I said, everyone's got to be aggressive and play and, and, and pitch in and, and be a part of that, the offense instead of trying to be predictable and singling Kevin out every time. Alex uh, Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Steve, before the game, you didn't know if Jeff was going to be able to go for you, and he ended up giving you 26 minutes. Just what would you make of him in his first game back, and was, did he give you more than you were expecting, given he said that you didn't expect to see a ton of minutes from tonight if he did play? Yeah, you know, he, he played a lot more minutes than we expected. I think Kyrie going down, you know, we used his versatility to try different things. Um, you know, I, I'm proud of him for, for playing. You know, he wasn't supposed to play today a couple days ago, so for him to kind of, you know, ratchet it up and uh, and get out there tonight was, was great. And, uh, unfortunately, it it was a tough night and, and Kyrie going down so early and he had to play more but uh but maybe this will if, if it's if it's not too provocative of the injury you know it, this will help him in the in subsequent games that's good uh -huh. hey Steve your experience has been more as a player through some of these topsy-turvy playoff series I'm just curious what is your message to them whether it's about the tone of the series changing or the physical like what, what is the message of the, I guess the overall message um, yeah, the best is just keep our heads up. You know, it's a series. Now it's a three-game series. Um, you know, we, we got to get home, get rest up, get our mind and bodies right, and study the film and, and try to put out a, our best performance on Tuesday. You know, it's simple. We, we stay positive, you know. We've had an adverse season. A lot of things have happened. We've remained positive, and that's what got us through the season. So we have to have that same mentality here and, and find a way and solve some puzzles and persevere. Last question, Stephen Bondi, New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, I know you said before the game that uh, James has to clear now. Uh, he was high intensity on consecutive days. Given that, is there any possibility or can you be on the trajectory of the next game? And then second question about Joe Hepbess. Has he struggled the last two games? What do you see there and how much more do you need his offense with if Kyrie is Yeah, you know, I mean... I thought Joe got, got good looks uh, last game, uh, tonight. Um, you know, he made a few shots. We would have liked him to shoot a little more, but um, with Kyrie out, we definitely need to be aggressive. But I think all our guys need to be aggressive. Landry, Mike, go down the line. Jeff, um, be aggressive. They're good players. They've given us a lot this year, and everyone can pitch in.